Okay. So how do we know that a chemical reaction has taken place? What are some of the things that happen that let us know a chemical reaction has taken place? Change of color. Yeah, change of color is one. No. Um, maybe. Huh? Bubbles. Okay. So if it bubbles, it gives off a gas, and the gas could have an odor. Okay. So kind of yeah, bubbles. What else? A precipitate is formed. Okay. So let's talk about what a precipitate is. A precipitate is a solid that's formed in a liquid. Okay. So if you mix two liquids together and it forms some kind of solid, that solid is called a precipitate. Okay. All right, what else? Sound, okay. You might hear some crackling and popping. That lets you know that a reaction is happening. Light, okay, like a glow stick. All right, indeed. And we're going to talk about this uh, a little later on in this actual unit. We're doing thermochemistry. Thermo means heat. So we're going to talk about the chemistry of heat. And reactions can either give off heat or they can absorb heat. One of the two. They can either feel hot or they can feel cold. Okay. Is that six? Okay. So this is the six things that you're looking for for chemical reactions. Make sure you have those. Six things you're looking for. So these reactions that we're going to see today, one of these, one or more of these are going to be taking place. Okay. All right, so that's not what I wanted. Our first reaction today, we're going to go ahead and start because it takes a while for it to get cranking up. Um, so for this reaction, see on this, you're going to have to write a balanced chemical equation. Okay, so our first reaction is going to be with silver nitrate. Okay, so that's the formula for silver nitrate. And we're going to add a copper wire to it. Okay, so what kind of reaction does that look like? <clears throat> single replacement reaction. We have a single element that's going to combine with a compound to produce a reaction, okay? So what kind of react, what is another name for a single replacement reaction? Kick out, all right, so the copper is gonna kick out what? Silver, right, copper is gonna kick out the silver, okay, in the reaction, so. Let's get this started. I'm going to be switching back and forth here because I'm recording this for people who aren't here. So I'm going to be switching back and forth between the table and the recording. All right, here's silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is in a brown bottle for a reason. Why do you think it would be in a brown bottle? Um, Cover your face, please. What do you think gets into this bottle that's clear? Light. All right. So light can get in to hit this chemical in a brown bottle like this. Light doesn't get in there. So silver nitrate is sensitive to light. It will actually cause a reaction with light. 
All right, so we're gonna take some silver nitrate. All right, so what observations can you make? Can you see this on the? Yeah. What observations can you make about silver nitrate? It's clear. Liquid form. Liquid. Okay, very good. It's a clear liquid. Okay, and here's copper wire. What can you tell me about copper wire? It's a solid. It's a solid. What else? Can you see the color? No, now it just looks silver. It does? Yeah. Can you see the color here? It's orange. Okay. It's orange or copper colored, right? All right. So there are some observations. It says in your lab to coil this up. So I'm going to coil this up around a pin, okay, to make a coil. Can you see that? Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to drop it down into here. It's a little too fat. There we go. All right, so you see it's in the liquid? Can you see it in the liquid? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let that run while we go on to the next one. Okay? And then we'll come back to this and fill out our observations. Okay? So what did we say some observations were? For the liquid, colorless or clear. Okay, it was liquid. Okay, and the copper wire was solid, orange. What else did we say? Anything? That was it? Okay. All right, so we don't have any evidence yet because we haven't seen the chemical reaction, okay? And we said what type of reaction this was? Single replacement. And what else is it called? Kick out. Okay? All right, so make sure you have that for your data table. All right, so the next reaction, I'll call this reaction two, is a different data table. Okay, different data table. Your next reaction is going to be sodium bicarbonate. We're going to heat it up. All right, so we're going to take sodium bicarbonate. What's the symbol for sodium? Na. And bicarbonate? Bicarbonate? Come on, more than one person needs to help me. I just have one person that's helping me out here. What's bicarbonate? It's got another name it goes by. HCO3, still the same person. Okay, what's the charge on sodium? Carter, what's the charge on sodium? I'll just call on people. What column is it in? 
you have your periodic table, I might want to drag those out. The reference materials, since I'm going to start calling on people. All right, what charge is sodium? Plus one. Okay, and what charge is bicarbonate? Wait. It's also called hydrogen carbonate. Plus one. Again? Plus one. No. Two. Huh? Plus two. No. Are you looking at your list? Yeah. What does it say out there? Show me your list. Huh? Your Polyatomic ion line. Do you have it? I think you have it right there. That now your reference materials. See a periodic table? Is that just a periodic table? Yeah. Looks like this. Yeah. What happened here? No idea. Well, we'll get another one. Be nice to have it. Keep up with it, please. All right, we'll come back to you, Way. Hannah, what is the charge of bicarbonate? Negative one. All right, so plus one, negative one, cancels out to zero. So that must be the formula. All right, so we're going to heat this up. What kind of reaction is that? Oh, let me call on somebody. McNeil, what kind of reaction is this? We just have one reactant. We just have one reactant. And then your arrow. We'll come back to you, Noe. Decomposition. Right. So we just have one reactant, so it's going to break up into smaller things. All right, I'm going to tell you one of those. Sodium carbonate. Okay, sodium carbonate. But that's not the real formula. What do you have to look at to get the real formula? Charges, right. So you have to look at the charge of sodium, look at the charge of carbonate. If they're different, what do you have to do? Swap and drop. Okay, swap and drop. All right, so let's get this started. Sodium bicarbonate is a solid. So here we go. Let's make some observations. Well, it's a solid. What else do you see about it? Okay, it's white. Huh? Oh, thank you. All right, so right here. It's a solid, it's white, okay? Anything else? Powder, right? It's in powder form. All right, so let's go ahead and start heating this. Huh? This one? Uh uh. No, we're not supposed to. Okay, can you see what's happening? Yeah. What? 
it's doing something, right? Looks like a little bug in there kicking up like one of those ant lions. Okay. So you're going to have to heat it at an angle. That's a safety thing, right? And you want to heat it somewhere around this area, not directly on the bottom. Okay, so let's see. It says to light a wooden splint. And insert it into the, what happens? It goes out. It goes out. Would that happen with the regular yeah. test tube? I don't know, let's see. Yeah, it does. Here, just let me hold it here. Is it going out? Okay. Uh, what causes a fire to go out? No. No. Well, yes. You see water shooting up, though? No. No. Huh? Carbon dioxide makes it go out. Yeah. Okay. Carbon dioxide. Now, here is a strip called cobalt chloride. Cobalt chloride is a strip of paper that detects water, water vapor actually. Okay, so what color is it? Blue. Blue. Okay, now it's supposed to be able to detect water vapor and change color if water vapor is present. <laughs> Okay, what do we see there? White. Okay, so did it detect water vapor? Yes. Okay, so when we decompose sodium bicarbonate, I already said we get one product of sodium carbonate. So what are our other two products? What did we just test and verify for? Water vapor. And what else? What was making the stick go out? Carbon dioxide. Okay. All right, so when you decompose sodium bicarbonate, you're going to get sodium carbonate, water, and carbon dioxide. Okay. What type of reaction do we say this was? Decomposition. Okay. We said this was a solid, right? Okay. Uh, we saw it bubbling, right? We saw the powder bubble a little bit. That means that there is a gas pushing the powder up. Let's see if we can. I don't see it happening again. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Okay. Say again. Copper and silver nitrate. 
That's too hot to handle. Ow! I'm not gonna do it. Okay. What was our evidence that a chemical reaction occurred? Bubbles. Huh? Bubbles. Right, it bubbled a little bit. Okay, we saw the power go. Okay. Did it change color? Let's look. Did it change color? No. Um, I was going to show you another. Maybe I can do it this way. Hold on. There we go. Oh, it's working. It's working. All right. I don't know if you can see it. Does it show up on the camera? There's little droplets of moisture up here at the top. Does it show on there? Okay. I'm just going to tell you. There's little droplets of water right on the edge of this test tube. Okay. All right, let's look at this first one. Okay. All right, what color, can you see the color of the crystals that are on the wire? They're white, yeah, they're actually silvery colored. What do you think those crystals are? Well, the wire is made out of copper. It was a single replacement reaction. Copper was being kicked out, right? What was being left by itself? Silver. So those white, silvery-looking crystals on the wire there are silver crystals that are being deposited on the wire. What color is the Statue of Liberty? Huh? Green. What color is this liquid? Okay. Light green. It's green. Okay. Does look blue? Can you see it up here? Oh, look. Does it look green or blue? Greenish blue? It's green. Maybe you're just it's peacock green. That's what they really call it. Color? Yeah. Peacock green. All right. That's what happens when copper ions are in solution. When you have copper ions that are in a solution in liquid, then it turns this really pretty greenish blue color. Okay. And then you see here that the wire right, is being, there's crystals being deposited on the wire. Those are the silver crystals that were in the silver nitrate. So copper's being kicked out, making copper nitrate, that's the blue liquid, and then silver crystals are being formed on the wire. That's where the reaction is taking place, is right on the wire. So that's why it is on the wire. Okay. Uh, this next one is really cool. It's one of my favorites. Let's go back to here. Okay. So do we get that? What was evidence that a chemical reaction? Oh, what are some more observations? The liquid turned greenish blue. Okay. And silver crystals formed. Okay. 
Okay. Silver crystals form. Evidence that a chemical reaction occurred. Change of color. Very good. And there was a precipitate form, right? A different solid form. What did we say the precipitate was? What was the precipitate? What crystals were being formed? Silver crystals. PPT is the abbreviation for precipitate. Silver crystals. Okay. Awesome. All right, reaction three. Okay. Uh, we're going to take. I'm going to do this a little bit different than what it said in the lab, just because it's cooler. We're going to take ethyl alcohol, which is, I have it written here because I couldn't see that. Uh, C. To H five OH. Okay. And we're going to set it on fire. What is that called? What is that called when you set something on fire? What reaction? Combustion. So what are we going to combine it with? Huh? No? What are we going to combine it with? Look at your combustion reactions. What do you combine? The hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon. You combine it with what? Huh? Now, what element do you combine it with? Look at your combustion reactions in your notes. Come on. Jacob, what do you combine the hydrocarbon with in combustion reaction? What's the other reaction? Huh? Oxygen. It wasn't Jacob, but I'll take it. Okay? Jacob, what are the two products? Always. Every single time. All right, we'll come back to you again. Wait. CO2 and H2O. CO2 and H2O. Every single time. Every single time, those are the products. All right. Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. This is supposed to go up here. Balanced chemical equation. What type of reaction did I say this was? Combustion. Combustion means what? Burning. Burning, not exploding. Okay. This is fun. I love this one. Have y'all seen this before? No. You have? No. I said I saw a yes. All right. Don't try this at home. Only in a chemistry lab. We're gonna take. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who says the garage is in the lab? Maybe. All right, so I'm going to put some alcohol in here. I have my hand covering this. Why? What does alcohol do? What does alcohol do? It evaporates and turns into a gas. Yes. I'm going to have to use my finger. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. Ooh, that shouldn't be there. That sounds safe. All right, are you ready? All right, so let's hope this happens first time. Ooh, I'm standing in the line. All 
All right, here we go. Ready? Okay. Let's try again. Let's do more this time. Maybe I waited too long. <laughs> I usually get applause for that. I usually get applause for that. Oh, Thank you. All right. So, what did we say one of the products of combustion was? Carbon dioxide and water. Ready? Watch, watch. That's a safety hazard. Water. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Evidence that a chemical reaction occurred. Okay, we saw fire, right? Fire gives off heat. Heat and light. Okay, what was another piece of evidence? Okay, it made a sound. What is another piece of evidence? Change color. Water. Formed. All right, water was formed. Okay, so you can put in your observations, right? All right. <clears throat> Any questions on that one? No, Mr. Mooney, would you let me do that? No. But move his hand. I do this here because y'all can. The lab said to put it in a little watch glass and light it and look at it. That's not nearly as cool as Mr. that. Mr. Mooney said, let me set it up a little. That's right. Okay, so this next one. Oh, there it is. Y'all can't watch because it can damage your eyes. No. I am going to have a safety glass. Okay, because. This one is going to be um, magnesium, and we're going to combine it with, just happens that it's going to be oxygen, okay? And it's going to make a single product, okay? What kind of reaction is this? Synthesis. Okay, so we're going to take magnesium wire or magnesium metal and we're going to set it on fire and it's going to burn. The light that it gives off is ultraviolet light, so that's why you can't look at it because it is damaging to your eyes. It could damage your eyeballs. We already did this reaction once this year when we did uh, empirical formulas. Remember I said you couldn't look at it? Okay. So can you see? It is. No, that's why I had the box there. So the camera can't see it. Mr. Mooney, are you even recording? And you can't see it. Are you recording? Yeah. All right. So I know, but I'm recording the screen. Oh. So what are your observations about the metal? Solid, silver, metal. 
Okay, it is metal because I can bend it. Okay, see, I can bend it. So it is metal. All right. So we're also going to turn out for the effect. Okay, I'm just going to have this on right now until I get it started, and then I'm going to turn it off. Don't, if you are on the side over there, don't watch this. Okay. Oops. Ah! I don't know, because it didn't stay lit. There we go. I know. Mr. Mooney, I stand in the sun. That has nothing on me. That's really question. Okay. Okay, so now let's look at the product. What does the product look like? Ash. Ash, right? It's white. The white powder. So it's a white powder. Okay, white powder. Okay, what did you see it give off? Smoke, white. Smoke, and a bunch of light, right? Even after I turned the burner off, gave out a bunch of light. Okay, all right. So, uh, this isn't finished. I have one more reaction to do, but I'm going to keep recording and do this last reaction. And you can go on Google Classroom and watch the last reaction on video. Okay? Y'all, I'm going to keep talking because it's recording. But when the bell rings, I can go ahead and go. Have a good day. All right. So the last two liquids are calcium chloride and sodium carbonate. And I'm going to put them in separate test tubes to start with. Actually, I'm not. This is calcium chloride. And you can see as I take it out, it's going to be a clear, colorless liquid. See? Clear, colorless. And you can see it there in the test tube, clear colorless. This one's also a clear colorless liquid, sodium carbonate. But watch what happens in this test tube when I add this now. See, it's also a clear colorless liquid. Why is it, how did it rise? Because I put more liquid in. But what did you see happen? Into a solid? Yeah, look, it's a white crystals formed in there. 
Say again. Friday. Uh, I'd rather you do it when I came back. Okay. All right. So, what type of reaction is this? Kristen, do you know? No. Two compounds. Double replacement. Okay, so we're going to combine the inside and the outside. So the first product is going to be NaCl. Is NaCl soluble in water? Is salt soluble in water? Salt does dissolve in water, right? Yeah. So that couldn't be the white, right? It looks like salt, but it couldn't be salt because salt dissolves in water. So what's the other product? Outside, calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate. Do you all have like stuff like in your sink or bathtub or on the faucet, that white scaly stuff that forms? Yeah. Yeah? That's calcium carbonate. That's the same stuff that's in here. From hard water. All right, so this was what type of reaction did you say? Double replacement. So precipitate was formed, that white solid. Okay, observations, two clear liquids. Formed white solid. All right, that's all the data. Make sure you finish up your lab. <laughs>